all right so in this video we want to quickly look at uh, uh, a continuation of our studies on integration and we're continuing within the integration of uh, polynomial expressions right so you recall that we've talked we defined the uh, uh, integration we showed the standard integrals we have so now when we have different kinds of functions how do we take their integrals so when we have a polynomial how do we do the integration of a polynomial? We say that when you have a polynomial, for example, you have something of this nature. So you see that this is a polynomial containing different terms. We call them monomials. You can also see the video we have on polynomials to know what we mean by monomials. That's each of these terms are called monomials. So when you bring them together, you will form a polynomial. And so now to integrate this, all you need to do is to integrate each of the monomials individually and then join them with the signs that you have here so you see what we have in this place this way represented so we're integrating 2x raised to the power 3 with respect to x and then minus we integrate this and then we integrate this and then also this all right so and that is all that you need and so when you do that and we've already looked at how to integrate a given term and so we said that all you need to do is add 1 to the power and divide by the new power, okay? And that's what gives you your integration. All right, so and that's what we're going to have here in the next example, in the next step. So we are adding 1 to 3, and that's why we have 4. Then we're dividing by the new power, which is 4 minus. And here we have 5x raised to power 3 over 3. And the power of x here is 1. So you add 1, you have 2 all over 2 minus and we said whenever you're integrating a constant you just attach x to it and then plus our constant of integration c all right so the next thing you have to do here is to simplify if it is possible so like here we can cancel out two here and so we have two and then nothing can cancel out here so we leave it that way three two cancel six here you have three and then you drop that one that's the solution to this problem so we look at the next example all right example two here says that we should integrate this all right with respect to x and like we said we're going to integrate each of the terms individually and we'll have this and then so when we integrate one we'll have x if we integrate eight x we're going to get squared here all over two integrate this we're going to get three that's plus one all over three and that's going to give you when we simplify this you get four x and if we simplify this, we we'll get 5x raised to power 3 and plus our constant c. And that's the solution for example 2. All right, and then for example 3, we are asked to also, this is also a polynomial. And like we said, you split them into different terms. Recall that you must not necessarily take this step. That's writing down this uh, splitting into individual terms. You can actually go ahead and do your integration, but you will know that you need to integrate each of the terms individually okay and then the next one this is plus one and that's three all over three plus one the power here is one and that's two all over two and now look at what i did here now by indices we are told that when you are bringing a power that is from the denominator up then the power changes to negative and so that is how this became x to the power minus three and so when you now integrate it, you add 1 to it, you get minus 2. And then we divide by that negative 2. Okay, so what happens next? So we simplify. When we simplify, 3 will take away this. And then here you have 3. Now this 2 will take away 2. Now but minus dividing minus will give you plus. That's how this sign changed to plus. And then you have your constant C. Right, okay. And you can decide to take this back into a fraction form the way it was given in the question and that if you do this is going to become the reciprocal by the power rule in indices you will have this okay and then the fourth example here we have that we should also integrate this so the first thing i did was to add the constant of course five plus uh, one will give you six and so we have this the integral of 6 plus the integral I change this into an index form and so when I did that I have this then minus this right so this one is already here so when we integrate 6 a constant you will get 6x 
and then when you integrate this minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 then you divide by the new power which is minus 1 and then this gives you 2x squared because the power here is 1 all over 2 so when you simplify what you have 6s comes down this minus will cancel plus to give you minus and then this one comes down because if you divide it by 1 you have the same and then here 2 will take away 2 and plus your c so when you go down again you change this into a fraction that doesn't mean you can't leave it this way this is also an answer but depending on the nature of your solution or what you want so you can actually move further and you will have this right and so the next example all right so for example five what do we have here we are given that y is equal to the integral of 9x cubed plus 11x squared minus x minus 3 with respect to x and then we are told that we should find this integral when x is uh, at the point where x is 1 and uh, y is equal to 2 the implication of this is that they are asking us or they are expecting us to find the, the value of the constant c all right so what do we do we split our terms into in dif different integrals recall that like i said you don't necessarily have to do this you can do it you know knowing that right so when we do this integration we add one here we have x raised to power 4 all over 4 plus 11 x raised to power 3 over 3 minus x squared over 2 and then minus 3x plus our constant c all right and so we can try to simplify if it is possible and of course there is nothing to simplify here but here i decided to write this in a different way that's putting the numerical coefficient different and then attaching it to the x variable all right so this is the solution for this integral but like i said because of this extra information we would need to find the value of our c all right Okay, and that's what we have here. So given that x is equal to 1, when y is equal to 2, what that means is that we should substitute y as 2 and x as 1. And if you do that, you are going to see from here that our y is equal to this. So we we'll put y as 2 and then anywhere we see x, we'll remove it and put what? 1, All right? Okay, and that's what we have here. So if you put x as a uh, 1 here, you have 1 here, 1 here, 1 here, and 1 here. All right, so you try to simplify this. 1 raised to the power of 4 is 1 times 9 is 9. The same happens here, and then you have this. Okay, so when you multiply through by the LCM, and why are we doing that? So we can clear these uh, fractions here, the denominators. And when you do that, you are going to have uh, 2 times 12 is 24. And 2 times uh, this, tw sorry, 12 times 2 is 24. 12 times this, this 4 will cancel 12, and you will have 3 left. That 3 will multiply 9. And over here, you have 4 left multiplying 11. Over here, you have 6 left multiplying 1. And then you have 12 times 3 is 36, and 12 times C is 12C. And so from here, you multiply this 27, 44, 6, and 36. Okay, so you collect like terms. When you do that, everything here going to this side will give you minus 5. And so your 12c is equal to negative 5. And so if you divide both sides by 12, you have that c is negative 5 over 12. And then taking it back into that original y, just replacing your c, you are going to have that your y is equal to this. And that is all we have for this video. Please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, please like and share our YouTube videos. We'll see you in our next video. Bye.